Hello and welcome to the how-to tutorial for using the AHDB BYDV management tool. I'm Teresa from the AHDB Cereals and Oil Seasonology Exchange team and this video is to take you through the key AHDB tools for use managing BYDV. Aphids can transmit BYDV, barley yellow dwarf virus, and the main transmission is via bird cherry oat and grain aphids. Initially, aphids colonise relatively few crop plants. However, it's the second generation that then tend to move away from the original plant that was colonised, and it's controlling this second generation that's a key part of the BYDV management strategy. It's important to assess first, before planning any sprays, whether you've got aphids present locally. This can be done in a number of ways. HDB provides aphid news and aphid alerts that are sent once a week on a Friday direct to your email for aphid news or to your phone with aphid alerts. You can sign up to receive these on our website on the Keeping in Touch form. Aphid news gives you a record from suction traps that are located across the country of what's been recorded in the last week and comparisons of those to previous years. For a number of the local suction traps, we're also now doing analysis to look whether those aphids are also carrying BYDV. You can also do your own aphid monitoring in field during the autumn or at key points during the year. The best way to do this is to use sticky traps on the soil surface about five metres into the crop or searching for leaves. If you find aphids to be present, you can also use our AHDB BYDV management tool in order to look whether it's to monitor when the second generation might be flying. That second generation is likely to be present when the accumulated daily air temperature above a baseline of three degrees reaches a T sum of 170. There are two things that you will need for that, either the date of the crop emergence or where you're following a pyrethroid application and the date of the last application. Using the AHDB BYDV management tool available on the website, you first want to select the region that you're interested in. This will then bring up a list of different suction trap locations and you can find your nearest one. You can then put in the start date into the T-sum calculation, either of the date of emergence or the date of your last pyrethroid application. This will then change the graph and look at the accumulated day degrees. Where the green changes into the orange, that's when it hits 150 day degrees. And it's when it gets to 170 that you should be thinking about looking for aphid presence in your field and considering spraying for aphids and for managing BYDV. If it doesn't hit that, then you're likely to not need to do that. This takes into account the weather that's been observed previously, or you can look at observed and the forecast data, which takes into account the weather for the day that you're on and 48 hours in advance. There's also the option to look at aphid flight activity as aphids are more active when temperatures are above 11 degrees. And this graph shows you the proportion of time where that temperature has been above 11 degrees. If an insecticide spray is necessary, please follow resistance management guidelines and target chemical control carefully. For information on these tools, please visit our website. For information on other details around BYDV and some background information that's also available online. To sign up or to read AFID news, please visit hdb.org.uk forward slash AFID news. Our pest encyclopedia gives you more details about the particular AFIDs. And if you have specific questions, Charlotte Rowley, who's our AHDB lead on pests, is happy to answer your questions as well using the contact details detailed. Thank you very much for watching.